Welcome back, you guys. So, the last couple of weeks we have been talking about invasive species quite a bit. Now, this week I want to try and answer the question of what exactly is an invasive species. To start with, there's a difference between an introduced species and an invasive species. So basically, an introduced species defines an animal or a plant or any kind of species for that matter that occurs in a region where it's not native. An invasive species is also an introduced species, so it should not necessarily be there, but it also has the added feature of causing some sort of damage to the existing environment or the ecosystem. Now the big question is, how does an invasive species get to where it is? And there's obviously different ways. One of them is simply by swimming into a new area, in terms of fish or plankton that gets drifted in with currents. Another way that new species get introduced via ship traffic is simply on the hull. So what every sailor knows is lots of stuff grows on your hull underwater. Now, for most of us it's just annoying because we have to keep cleaning it off or keep putting antifouling or whatever means you use to keep your hull clean. But it also means that certain species grow onto your hull in one part of the world and then you might sail across an ocean and you all of a sudden have introduced them into a whole different environment. Not a good thing. Big ships pump a lot of water into ballast tanks to well basically make them move at the best loading rate so they pump lots and lots of water into their own body and then at some point when they don't need it or when they have more cargo to carry they pump it out again and obviously in that water there can be a certain amount of organisms in there Zero point three percent of the water volume of the world is in the Mediterranean Sea, and yet up to eighteen percent of the described organisms worldwide, that's around seventeen thousand species, live in the Mediterranean Sea. The inhabitants of the Mediterranean Sea are under serious threats by climate change, overfishing, alien invasions and many other threats. The temperatures of the Mediterranean are on a constant rise, leading to more alien invasions, which again lead to community shifts in the habitat. By now we have more than 1000 alien species, which are mostly thermophilic animals. Most of those aliens entered the Mediterranean through the Suez Canal, which is known as the Lesepsian Migration. The blue spotted cornered fish started his invasion seven years ago and by now is almost all over the Mediterranean, feeding on juveniles of various species, including the gold striped wrasse but also on lionfish, which gives a bit of hope. The pufferfish has by now reached the central Mediterranean, feeding specially on sepia and octopi, which got it classified as a fisheries pest. Lionfish is perhaps the most successful invader in the Mediterranean Sea. It can spawn every four days year-round, laying up to two million eggs per year. Those are gelatinous and floating with the currents, settle after about one month and then hatch. So really, it leaves us with one ugly fact. The time to really successfully work against the alien invasion would have been a year ago, at the latest. Right now, we are pretty late already, 
However, it's never too late to do something, whatever that something might be. It might be taking out various alien species and hunting them in a very targeted fashion. And I'm not talking about fishing nets because those take out everything. I'm talking about harpoons, spear fishing, that sort of thing. And of course, it needs a lot of education work on the locals. Once the live fish is on the menu and it becomes a popular dish and they are supposedly rather tasty, I guess then the problems will solve themselves. themselves. So the fight isn't over yet and we gotta keep going. So until we find the solution, stay tuned.